President-elect Donald Trump is in Washington tonight to kick off inauguration events. As he prepares for tomorrow's big day, his cabinet picks are in the midst of tough confirmation hearings. Among them, Energy Secretary nominee Rick Perry and Treasury Secretary nominee Stephen Mnuchin. While Democrats grill the dom nominees, few have been as critical as Minnesota Senator Al Franken. And you said that uh, student debt has increased by 1,000%? 980% in eight years. I'm sorry? 980%. That's not, that's, that's just not so. It's increased 118% in the past eight mm. years. Well, so I'm, I'm just asking, if you're challenging my figures, I would ask that you get your figures straight. Senator Franken's questioning of Education Secretary nominee Betsy DeVos has been viewed more than four million times on the senator's Facebook page. A CBS News political correspondent went so far as to call Franken the breakout star of the confirmation hearings. Esme Murphy is here with us now, and you spoke to Senator Franken today. What did he say about all the attention he's getting? You know something? He honestly seems to not realize mm -hmm. that this is getting that much attention, or he didn't know that he had four million views on his Facebook page. He just said he was trying to ask the questions that need Needed to be asked of these nominees. The questioning by Senator Franken of Secretary of Education nominee Betsy DeVos has gone viral. DeVos struggled to answer Franken's question on testing students for their growth or improvement versus testing for proficiency or specific knowledge. No, I'm talking about the debate between proficiency and growth and yes. what, what your thoughts are on them. Well, I was just asking to clarify then. Well, this is, this is a subject that is, has been debated in the education community for years. So I've been an advocate of growth, but it surprises me that you don't know this issue. And Mr. Chairman, I think this is a good reason for us to have more questions. Franken's interviews of Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions and Health and Human Services nominee Dr. Tom Price have also gotten widespread coverage. You guys want to end the ex expansion of Medicaid. That has people in Minnesota scared out of their mind. Senator Franken says he is just doing his job and plans to vote against Sessions, Price, and DeVos. He says DeVos is simply not qualified. I had a courtesy meeting with her in my office, and I was just startled uh, at how little she knew about anything in education. Uh, she has a very ideological point of view. Political analyst Larry Jacobs says Franken appears to be entering a new phase. Welcome to the new Al Franken. Al Franken is funny and fierce. Al Franken is on a path to be one of the lead Democratic uh, critics of the Trump administration. Now, when Senator Franken first won election back in 2009 after that lengthy mm -hmm. recount, he really seemed to go out of his way to try and not be funny yeah. at all. However, look at this exchange between Senator Franken and former Texas Governor Rick Perry during Perry's nomination hearing this morning for Energy Secretary. Governor, uh, Senator, thank you so much for coming into my office. Uh, did you enjoy meeting me? <laughs> I. I hope you were as much fun on that dais as you were on your couch. Uh, well. <laughs> may, may I rephrase that, sir? Please. 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 Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> well, I think we found our Saturday Night Live soundbite. <laughs> That one of the few, few light points in these yeah. very tense confirmation hearings. The senator also didn't seem to be aware of how much attention that exchange oh, yeah, that is getting on social media. So yeah. He just seems much more comfortable, I think, compared Absolutely. to, like you said, when he first was elected to office. And, and very, very forceful. He really has gotten a lot of national attention during mm -hmm. these hearings. All right. Thank you, Esme. Thanks for sharing that. I missed that. It's all of the timing, his timing yes. and the facial expression. He's always had the comedic yeah. timing. Yes, yeah. we know that.